Thank you for joining us here at KEXP, where the music matters. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org, and also on our free mobile apps. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. You get notification every time we launch a new video. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I'm so excited to be down here in the KEXP studios with someone that we love. We've known a long time. Jen Champion's here with us today. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, we're always so happy to have you visit. The last album, Single Rider, gave us a visit to the studios, and now you have The Last Night of Sadness. Yeah. I know this one's a heavy one for you. <laughs> it is. And it I appreciate is. you performing these songs live for us today. Can't wait. It's Jen Champion live on KEXP. I don't want to lose my mind with it. I don't want to lose my I mind lose with this. My mind. I don't want to lose my mind. I don't want to lose my mind. mind. Living the wrong life. Just a kid in the goth club. Didn't know how to feel the. Being dumb and doing drugs Apologies coming to no one Everyone was a vampire But they won't be just sucking blood Didn't know who my father was Ten years in therapy Telling the same story Telling it in different ways Talking about the same ten things I feel better though Struggle up to the mountaintop Looking down at the lights a lot Nothing's real in Hollywood Nothing's real in Hollywood, real in Hollywood Everybody's got a dream I'm not gonna make it Turning the lights, turning the lights off I'm not gonna make it Turning the lights off I'm not gonna make it Turning the lights, turning the lights off I'm not gonna make it I never wanna be famous I'm thinking now I might hate it I never wanna be handled And tied up in gold I think I'd be so anxious Don't know how anybody hangs it I never wanna be famous, famous, famous Leaving home at 17 I was on tour at 23 Giving up on everything My drinking ain't stopping for no one Never been in a fist fight But I'm married a hot dyke She's wearing a Misfits shirt Cause she's a Metallica fan R.I.P. Cliff The television you missed Kim lost her diamond Earring in the ocean Everybody's got a dream I'm not gonna make it Turning the lights, turning the lights off I'm not gonna make it I never wanna be famous I'm thinking now I might hate it I never wanna be handled And tied up in gold I think I'd be so anxious Don't know how everybody hangs it I never wanna be famous, famous, famous Struggle up to the mountaintop Looking down at the lights a lot Struggle up to the mountaintop Looking down at the lights a lot I never wanna be famous I'm thinking now I might hate it I never wanna be handled and tied up in gold I think I'd be so anxious Don't know how anybody hangs it I never wanna be famous, famous, famous I never wanna be famous I'm thinking now I might hate it I never wanna be handled and tied up in gold I think I'd be so anxious Don't know how anybody hangs it I never wanna be famous, famous, famous
Thought they'd be dancing at your wake Thought they'd be throwing a parade We're always walking that thin line Between living and hoping we're dying You're still playing that blame game Still pretending you feel safe Upset that there's no change even though you've been on your knees praying We're supercharged, I can't wait There's nothing left, we dig our own graves I'm already scared, everything's fake I'll race you there, we'll make our own fate We'll make our own fate We dig our own That veil is thin Sometimes I wonder where you've been I wanna hold on tight So we don't lose anybody else We keep making mistakes And not forgiving ourselves But they be dancing at your way We're supercharged I can't wait There's nothing left we dig our own graves I'm scared Everything's fake I'll race you there We'll make our own fate We'll make our own fate This is the moment we die This is the moment we die We're just watching the world burn Past the point of no return You might consider that big leap You might consider that being free We're live in the KEXP studios. Jen Champion is here today performing songs from the beautiful new record, The Last Night of Sadness. That was amazing. Thank you. It's so great to have you here. I just feel so lucky to have had your voice as a part of my life for almost 30 years. And every time you just come in with those vocals, something in my body just starts tingling and uh, just, just it brings me to a happy place, no matter what you're singing about, <laughs> which is sadness on this record. <laughs> but um, just, it's just so powerful to, to have a presence like that in your life musically. So I want to thank you for that. Oh, you're most welcome, Cheryl. <laughs> well, after having said that, I am really going to dig in right now for just a few moments. Uh, you said that you really poured your heart into this record. And to quote you, you said, I spent three years writing an album about the difficulty and absurdity of being an alive person. Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> well, I just think I, when I was writing it, um, all this, I was at a place to write, I think much like maybe I did in Carissa's Weird or S where just such personal feelings and lyrics were coming out. And, um, 
I think sometimes being an alive person is like so exquisite and so beautiful and like that we get to walk around on this planet and do this stuff. But then sometimes all the little things can start weighing you down where you're like, oh, shoot, I got to take a shower. I got to eat food. And sometimes that can really weigh on me where I'm like, I got to do all this stuff to stay alive. (laughs) And it's so amazing but it's like battling this um balance of the two of what a weird world we live in it is you know when i'm at home doing those simple things that must be done to stay alive and to keep my pets alive and i I think about how much time i spend even like i I just started using an electric toothbrush and you know it it times you so you're doing two minutes Mm -hmm. i'm like how much time in my life is adding up now that i will be brushing my teeth but you know those little things take up so much of your life. It really reminds me of what we're told over and over spiritually is that we really need to be present in the mm-hmm. moment, even in those times when we're <laughs> brushing our teeth or feeding ourselves. Um, do you find that you think about that as well, just trying to be present? I do. Probably writing this record really helped me be like, well, what do I want? And I want to hang out with my friends and play music. And I was like, oh, I think part of making this record will be bringing my friends in to sing on it. And like being able to like, how can I do this right now? Just like hang out with my friends and play music, <laughs> you know? So I feel like all the little things feel so much more manageable sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Well, grief and loss are a big part of this record, and there's so much complexity of sadness and the different emotions wrapped up in it. And I know that this record took a lot out of you. Did it feel like something that you had to do? Is it something that you're glad that you did? Yes, it was very cathartic, I think, to be able to express, um, I think, the difficulty, especially, especially of losing friends at this age, Um, and as a person who has struggled with living, you know, I think, and then really feeling grateful to be alive and then having people die, it's a real interesting battle in my brain of like, what is this all, what are we doing? (laughs) So I think it was like this record, I think really walks that line of how do I process all this, you know, death and living at the same time, you know? Well, you've always been vulnerable in your songwriting, but you've said that this is your most confident album that you've ever made. What do you think allowed you to get to this place in your songwriting? I think being able to produce this record myself. So I, as much as like I had um, other voices come in and like give me suggestions and help and I was at a place technically to execute what I wanted the record to sound like, which I don't think I've ever been able to do before I've attempted it. Um, But I was able to bring all my like emotional songwriting and production, which I think I was able to really get a cool, really put the feeling in there that I wanted to. I was thinking about that. I was always listening to the record and thinking about all the past records that I've loved of yours, how much experience you've gained and knowledge over the years and how great it must be to be able to execute what you can think of in your mind. You've probably not always been able to do that. As you sang in Famous, I started when I was 17. I bet you maybe couldn't have made this record yourself when you were 17. No, absolutely not. (laughs) Just press and record on the four track, you know? (laughs) Well, speaking of Famous, um, you talk about the complexities of fame in that song and versus success. And you've been putting out music for nearly 30 years now. Uh, Aside from what I gleaned from listening to that song, what does the tension between fame and success look like for you now? I think success for me, I think, is just feeling like I, especially with this record, I think it's probably the best record I've made. And it feels like that is such a success to be able to create something that I was like, that is what I wanted to make. I made it. Um, It's in the world. And I feel so proud of it. And um, that feels very successful. I think 
I really feel for people who are very f- famous because it seems so difficult. It's just like, seems like everyone's just under so much scrutiny. And I'm like, I don't think that seems like fun. <laughs> well, aside from the heavy theme of this record, are you having fun? I am having fun. This little tour run has been a blast. I'm hanging out with my friends. Yeah, let's meet these music. wonderful musicians. Yeah. Um, Carrie Murphy here playing on the keys. Hello. Carrie was also the guitar player in S. I was. And I was like, do you want to sing on this record? Absolutely. Always. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mary Lee plays in Gen Champion. Also Hi. beautiful angel voice. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have all of you here today. The new record, The Last Night of Sadness. And you've got a couple more songs for us. A couple more for you. Yes. Thank you so much. It's Gen Champion live on KEXP. Disguised in silence We don't heal, don't survive it We don't kneel, it's decided I don't want to leave you crying on the weekend I don't want to leave you crying Take it back Listening to Jen Champion live on KEXP, the new album, The Last Night of Sadness.
the things you said, they don't make sense. You met her in the sixth grade. A girl from Cherry Hill, you liked the way she said your name. You said, I always knew it was gonna be. She stole morphine off the nurse's cart one day in the suburbs of Phoenix, Arizona. Stupid dead Jessica. Stupid dead Jessica. You pulled no punches You felt everything in a single sound You held everything too many times to count And I still love you, but it hurts now I don't think life was something that you hated I think that it's way more complicated Sometimes we need something to hang in The day doesn't go like we planned it I didn't think it was gonna be You and me, honestly Who ODs in their goddamn forty? Sleep in the backseat of his car in the parking lot of McDonald's. Stupid dead Jessica. Stupid dead Jessica. Stupid dead Jessica. the reason you got sober our friends die and we keep getting older and it kills you that she left you this way stupid dead jessica 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 Mm. That is Jen Champion live on KEXP, the new album, The Last Night of Sadness. Jen, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having us. It's always great to see you. You've got it tuned to KEXP, where the music matters. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.